the major change that really happened was when in 2020 it turned from 30 to 40 companies. So it's become more diversified and in even better representation of the German economy. And if you look at the performance, how does it or has it performed compared to the likes of the Dow Jones? Because there's sometimes a bit of criticism here. Well, the DAX uh, overall is, is clearly a very Germanic sort of representation to the world. So different capital markets have different depth, different environment. If you look at the performance, the DAX started at around 1,000 points. And today and in the last few days, it was above 16,000. So the annual return that uh, investors could gain from the DAX was 8.6%. Uh, so I think that's a very strong uh, indication of uh, what returns can be achieved in the German economy and also in the German uh, sort of stock market. You've hinted at the fact that the German industry is represented here. We need to talk uh, about the car space because clearly there are loads of car companies listed in the DAX. And is the index prone to more volatility because of that specification? Not really. It clearly represents Germany. <coughs> Germany is a more sort of cyclical uh, industrial composition. But uh, the car companies represented 13, 14 percent in 1988, and they represent 16 percent today. So it hasn't really changed in that. What has gone down is some very cyclical sectors, for example, chemicals, which used to be significantly above 10 percent. Today is only 2 percent. At the same time, banks, as I alluded to earlier, have been uh, 16, 17 percent, and also now down to 2 or 3 percent. So in aggregate, in particular, the broader diversification of the index has helped to make it more stable. There's a bit of concern or not concern, but if you talk about the, the markets and the capital markets here, they're not as deep as the United States. So in, in your view, as a representative of Deutsche Börse, what needs to happen to really deepen and to attract more investors to this region? Well, certainly the challenge of the European capital markets, not just the German, but the European capital markets is a permanent topic. A lot has been achieved in the last few years again. I think lo a lot remains to do. The recent initiatives by the German government around sort of improving the attractiveness of the German market, we think are a key sort of uh, next step uh, to take. The same is true for the European level. We're really creating pan-European structures who will make it more attractive. On the other side, let me just uh, emphasize that it is a cyclical environment, meaning Investors two or three years ago, a lot of talk of investors going out of Europe and reinvesting in the U.S. In the last few months, we've seen a reversal to that. So I don't think that there is a, a, an overall attractiveness challenge for Europe. It's more a structural point of deepening and at the same time driving the integration of European capital markets. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.